Hello everybody, this is Desmond 520 and today we're doing a Destiny 2 video. Yeah, I know. Strange, huh? Um, I've been playing this game like crazy recently, so I thought I might as well delve into some Destiny content while I'm on sort of my break from other content. Um, sorry about the noise in the background, I'm actually going to see if I can mess with it real quick. Hopefully that's a little bit better, but either way. <laughs> so, what is the point of today's video after that fucking pause? Um, I'm going over the new exotic that you'll be seeing me use a lot in this gameplay, and that is the exotic shotgun duality. Um, so those, for, for those who don't know much about Destiny, basically, um, well, I guess since this will be the first video I cover on the game, like in actual statistical sense, um, the game is basically a looter shooter slash MMO RPG, um, like combined. Um, but what you need to know for this is that exotics are extremely rare weapons that um, that you can only have one of um, two of them equipped at a time, one armor piece and one weapon. And every season, um, which is like one season, one battle pass. Each season, you normally get at least one exotic that you get through the progression tree, um, which is basically getting to season rank 35, gives you the weapon. And if you, um, sorry about that, um, if you, um, as well, you also get a, um, a weapon if you own the season pass, you can get the weapon, a, we sorry, you can get a weapon that comes out as a certain quest. Although, every once in a while, they give one where the quest is obtainable by all players. Um, so yeah, so today we're talking about the tier shotgun that came out, and this is the exact shotgun duality. Um, very unique shotgun, very versatile, and I'll say this, I actually thought I was going to like this more in PvP, but I've actually found this much better against, like, standard enemies and, like, PvE. As well as pretty decent DPS for a slug shotty. Um, and has now replaced, um, Chaperone, in my opinion, for, um, PvE content. So, what is duality? Now, mind you, I'm standing still for a few minutes, but whatever. Um, this gameplay was just me doing the Nightfall and stuff came up. <laughs> so, duality is the exotic shock, and like I said, tier 35. It is a standard, um, pump-action shotgun. Um, or so it would seem. Um, namely, it is very, um, I wouldn't say it's like one of the high impact, it's like a medium impact, medium fire rate shotgun. Well, and I wouldn't even say that. It, it's strange because it's almost like in a realm of its own, but I would say it's either a medium or it's a fast fire rate shotgun, which means that it has on the lower side of damage, but that's where its exotic perk comes in. So its exotic perk duality makes it to where when shooting from the hip so basically without aiming in you will get a standard um, shotgun you know pellets spraying everywhere um, and upon um, upon aiming down sight however the weapon turns into a slug shotgun meaning that all rounds are composed into a single round that goes forward um, really really versatile with that because that means that you can choose your engagement distance if you want to go a bit longer or do a lot more dps versus a boss you can switch to the um aim down sights version or if you want to kill certain ads um and if you um want to spread out the damage or you're playing like crucible and you need to go for a slide kill you can go with the shot you can go with this one still um overall just very very good weapon terms of that. Um, it's second exotic perk, which is also fairly good, although it is hard to, I guess, take advantage of. Um, and this is on black wings. So what the, and you'll see it pop up every once in a while here. Essentially what it does is, is that the, um, upon getting a kill with the hip fire, 
version, so getting killed with the standard shotgun version, you'll gain a bonus precision, you'll gain bonus precision damage, handling, and reload speed. And by getting precision kills while it's in the while it's in the slug mode, you will extend the duration. Um, right here, you'll actually I think you'll see it show up. I know it's a bit further on, but um. Essentially, you get a hip fire kill, like that, you'll get on black wings, and then every precision kill extends the duration, but as you can see, it has a fairly short duration without it. Um, my biggest issue with it right now, at least in terms of things, is that it's range. I can't seem to consistently get kills with it um, in Crucible, even though I love like Chaperone, I love most slug tries, I just don't seem to like it in Crucible very much. Um, I'm assuming it's because of the weird, um, it may have, like, a sight, I guess, like, the sight is off to me, so I'm not aiming correctly, and as well as, you know, ghost bullets, bullets, yeah, ghost bullets still being in the game, um, for those that don't know, when a bullet goes after a certain amount of range, sometimes it just has a tendency to disappear, happens a lot with shotguns more than anything else, um, but big thing about it, overall is that the shotgun is if, if you can get used to it if you can get through that whole ghost bullet slash range issue the weapon is incredibly good um, and I would say it even beats out chaperone in most cases I prefer chaperone just because I like the consistency more um, but in terms of just standard shooting. I actually like this more, especially like I said against PvE. Um, in PvE, um, or should, I should go over the damage, um, for PvE the weapon does around 20,000 to the head on average with the slug version. Um, at least that's what I've seen so far. Um, against certain enemies, against bosses, I have seen it go all the way up and um, I've seen it go up to around 40-ish thousand. Um, but, if you are empowered, like y'all actually see me in this gameplay, I hit for a 56,000 crit, which is really good. Um, so, damage-wise, it's actually fairly good. In terms of the base shotgun, it's essentially the same as any standard shotgun you would find out in the world. Um, basically, you can just use it that's really all I can say about it is that it's just something usable um in terms of abusing the perk like I said there's no real way to abuse it consistently because the perk only lasts for a very short time um as for crucible it acts like a standard slug shotty most of the time um, if, when aiming down sights, like I said, it's pretty much like a standard high fire rate. Um, a standard high fire rate shotgun. Or when aiming down sights, it becomes a, basically a standard slow shotgun. Um, to which it does, is a two hit to the body, it's a one hit to the head at close range. I think it's like about five or six meters is the longest ki one shot kill I've gotten to the head with it. Um, so don't be too surprised if you don't get many kills first, at first anyways. Um, and yeah, in terms of where I would use this, I would recommend using this if you maybe are just out in the world, if you want to do, like, strikes or something like that, it's a pretty good weapon, especially this week, as the week I'm recording this, it is Solar Burn, or Solar Singe, whatever you want to call it. Which means that all solar weapons will be dealing extra damage, which duality is a solar weapon. And with the fact that it has six rounds in the mag really does help it out too, because it's a, a generally good capacity shotgun and its reload is really cool. Um trying to think of what else to really say, but there's not much really else to say. I wouldn't bring this into a raid, um, as you can see, I'm doing the Nightfall, though I'm doing the weaker version of the Nightfall, but still, the Nightfall is 
we, you can bring it into fairly consistently and it'll do just fine. The only thing I would not recommend using it in really would be like I said like a raid or like a super high level content. In terms of like crucial, any crucible based game or a game mode um, you can do. Gambit it's not terrible in but I would recommend the sniper more. Um, yeah that's really it talking about the gun itself it's just a pretty good shotgun um so yeah this content's a bit different for me um as you guys know i do a lot of weapon reviews anyways but thanks to cough cough hardline about before not having fun servers um i've taken a break from them hardline i still have like two in reserve just in case and you guys will be getting one this week but um at the moment, I've basically just been playing Destiny, and that's been about it. So, if, for those that don't mind, I may be posting some Destiny 2 weapon reviews going forward. Just some, I won't post them all the time. Maybe a guide or two here. Um. And, yeah. And, mind you, I don't know what the hell was going on here, where I was just, like, acting like I was brain dead. But, um. Overall, I have a ranking out of 5. I'll give this weapon a 4 out of 5. Simply put, it's just a very, very versatile weapon that has a lot of uses. The reason why I don't give it a 5 out of 5, though, is because of the fact that the exotic perk is nothing super special. And while it has versatility on its side, it does not have strength on its side, if you get what I mean. Well, it's versatile... But it's not, it doesn't do anything insane to keep it up. A good example would be like, I don't know, of like some beast and exotics. We have, um, Ace of Spades. Reloading after a kill gives you six rounds that have bonus damage for them until you swap weapons. Or you swap to it, yeah, until you swap weapons effectively. Or you die. You have other things like um, Risk Runner, which is when you take lightning damage... You have an infinitely reloading magazine for a couple seconds that also chains lightning. And stuff like that. So, really, there's not that much. It's not... Basically, it's a great weapon. I just don't think it's good enough to be put in the 5 out of 5 tier. Just because it's good at almost everything, but it's not a master of anything either. So, with that being said, though, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed me making some Destiny 2 content. I don't know why. But I'll be seeing you guys all later.